Are you working with a Gen Z? If you are, this will be for you. If you're not, guess what? They're coming to work for you really soon. Stay tuned and learn about Gen Zs in the workplace. Hey guys, I'm Karen McCullough. And you know I've been talking about millennials for the last like 15 years. Yeah, well, they're getting old. And by, in 2017, guess who came on the scene? Gen Z. So we know just a little bit about them. So I thought today what I would do is share with you the three things that the Gen Z wants in the workplace. It's going to change because they've only been working in the workplace for a couple of years. So as they mature, things will grow. But let me give you the top three things they want. Number one, they want money. Yeah, they still want purpose, but number one, they want money. They want a promotion. But here's what's interesting about Gen Z. They are willing to work and work and work. Studies show that some of them will take two and three jobs within a company in order to get that promotion. So Gen Z, hats off to you. They're very hard workers. Number two, they want a good relationship with their boss. Studies show that most people leave a job, number one, because they can't stand their boss. Well, Gen Z wants a connection with their boss. They want their boss to be more like a coach. They want that boss there to help them to move through troubling areas. They want their boss to be a coach where they can talk to them about the challenges that they are happening. It's good to think about. They want a relationship with a boss, but they want it to be more like a coach. And the last one, number three, is they want a safe place to fail. This is interesting. 80% of the Gen Zs that were interviewed in the workplace said that they feel that they are doing their job wrong and they are so afraid of failure. But guess what? They're afraid to ask questions. So there's a lot of fear involved. So we have to help them. We have to give them opportunities to make decisions, small decisions, and we have to be ready for them if they fail. But if we don't give them opportunities to make decisions, they are not going to become thinkers. In work, especially when we are promoted, we have to have, we are challenged and we have to be able to think on our feet and we have to be able to make decisions. This generation is going to need help on making decisions. I think a lot of it is because, think about it, they grew up with Google in their pocket. You know what? You have a question and what do you do? You Google it. If you don't know the answer to this, you Google it and they depend on that technology to answer their questions. Today, now they are in charge. They are in charge of the answers. So as a boss or as a manager, think about this and give them small opportunities where they can make a decision. So there you have it. Three things that Gen Z wants in the workplace. Hope you enjoyed this one. It's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.